guys, welcome back to Land App. For today's video, we are going to show you Shopify API tutorial for beginners. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. In this case, we'll be discussing a few beginner things here that you need to know for you to start using Shopify API. So Shopify API is a great way for you to integrate different apps into your store here that is not officially yet on the app store for Shopify. So if you want to add like specific functionalities from different, uh, in this case, uh, platforms, well, you could add or in this case, use API to connect your uh, store to that specific platform. Now, by the way, just to, to make this a lot easier for you, an API is like a language that you could use to basically make the two platforms talk to each other. So in this case, we'll be using Shopify API to connect to other platforms. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to our settings at the bottom left here. And on our left uh, side here, we have a left panel here. We want to access apps and sales channel. Now for you to start using API, you actually want to start developing apps. Let's go and click on develop apps here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on allow custom app development. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to click on allow custom app development here. And also, if you want to read it further into this, you can go ahead and read all the links that you see before. But in this case, uh, what do we do next? Well, in this case, what we need to do is we need to create an app. Let's go and click and create an app here. And we want to add a app name. So for example, this is going to be a test app. And from here, you can select the app developer here and click on create app. So by default, the app developer is going to be you or the email that you've set up for your account. Now, in this case, once the app is created, we could go ahead and start configuring our app. So in this case, there are a few things that you need to do here. Like for example, you need to configure your admin API scopes and your storefront API scopes. So let's go to our configuration here. And from here, you could go and click on configure. Now, by the way, the information or the options that you'll be configuring here actually depends on what the app you're actually using or going to install here uh, needs. So make sure to only select what is necessary for your app. In this case, maybe you want to allow read analytics, read apps, and even read assignment orders, read customer events, and basically just allow all the read events. But if you want to also allow write options here, you can go ahead and do that. But again, depending on what you need for your app here, you can go ahead and just enable everything that you see here. Next is you want to go ahead and click on save at the top, right? Now, once you've actually saved your changes here, what we need to do now here is we need to go back here to configuration. And we now need to also configure our storefront API. Let's go and click on configure. Now, like what I said before, you could go ahead and allow all of the options that you want to include to your app here. Again, only allow what is necessary. Do not uh, give further access if it's not necessary. But in this case, let's go ahead and allow uh, what we can here. But again, depending on what you need. So make sure to read further on the platform that you're actually connecting here, what they need. So usually they have like a tutorial or a specific article for that on how to install it on your Shopify here. And make sure to only include, again, only include what is necessary here. Let's go and click on save. Now, what we need to do here is we now need to basically go to configuration and you now need to go to API credentials. Now, API credentials here actually gives you your API keys, your secret keys, and your access token. Now, the thing here with uh, API credentials here it is a, a the section where, in this case, you need to provide uh, your details from your Shopify store to the platform that you're trying to connect. So basically, these tools or this information that you'll be seeing here will be asked on the platform that you want to connect. So, for example, if the, uh, in this case, the app that you want to include on your Shopify store requires you the API key and the secret key, this is where you'll be able to find it. Now, also, uh, for you to view your access token here, you need to first install the app. So let's just do that exactly here. Let's go and click on install app. And in this case, you can go ahead and click on install here. But if you want to read further into this one, you can go ahead and do that. So it's only gives this app access to your data. So if you want to provide those data, you can go ahead and click on install. Now, once the installation is complete, you should be able to see, or in this case, get your reveal uh, token access here which in this case, you could go ahead and just copy the token access here, which is the uh, API token access. Now, if they require you to also provide the storefront API access here, you could go ahead and do that. So if you want to read further in this, go ahead and basically uh, click on the appropriate links. Now, if you could also go to app settings here, this allows you to change the app name, some descriptions here. So more on the uh, general information about your app here. So if you want to provide the primary app developer, the email address here, description, and all those stuff. 
But yeah, so those are the basics on how to use the Shopify API here. It actually depends on what your app needs. And usually uh, certain platforms that actually integrate through Shopify have their own uh, ways of integrating uh, their platform into Shopify. So make sure to read further in that. But in this case, those are the basic things that you need to know here for API development in Shopify. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to Elenap. Thank you for watching.